Stampers, this is Holly from Rubber Redneck. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and welcome to day five of my Fall Frenzy event. Today's video, I'm gonna be demonstrating the Hello Fall 6x6 page. This page uses the stamp set called For All Things from our holiday catalog. Now you'll wanna visit my blog, rubberredneck.typepad.com for the free project sheet that I'll have available today for this uh, six by six page and then you'll also want to visit it to find out how to purchase all the supplies to recreate this page. To create this page you want to cut one piece of baked brown sugar cardstock at six inches by six inches. Cut one piece of very vanilla cardstock at three and a quarter by four and a quarter. Once you have that cut you're going to glue this to the center of your baked brown sugar cardstock. And just place that right in the center of the cardstock. Then you want to cut one piece of early espresso cardstock at a half an inch by five and a half. Punch one side with the spiral border punch. Then you're going to glue this to your page. So just put a little bit of glue onto the cardstock. And then you want to glue this so it's on the right side of the page and you want to overlap your photo mat and it's going to be in the center of that baked brown sugar cardstock. Then you want to cut one piece of cherry cobbler cardstock at two and a quarter by two and a half. Zip it through the big shot with the deco label framelits die cutting it out. Once you have it die cut out you're going to cut off the other end that looks like this so it's even with the oval part and then when you turn it it looks like the bottom of an apple. You want to attach this to your page using a stamping dimensional and you're going to place this on the right side overlapping your very vanilla cardstock and your baked brown sugar cardstock and early espresso cardstock. Now you want to get this so it looks nice. So you want to cut one piece of very vanilla cardstock at a half an inch by one and three quarters. You're going to take the stamp foam for all things, ink it in old olive, and stamp onto your very vanilla cardstock. Once you have it stamped on, you're going to notch out the bottom where the fall is. So just cut in the center and go from the point to the center, notching out that end. Then you want to glue that very vanilla cardstock to your cherry cobbler cardstock, and you want to be on the right side. And it's going to stick up a little bit off your apple here. That's okay. You want it to look like that. Then you want to die cut out two old olive cardstock pieces using the Big Shot and the Fun Fall Framelits to cut them out. You want to take some stamping dimensionals and add them to the back. Now these are a little bit tinier, so I just take and cut one of our stamping dimensionals in half. And then place them right on, on to the back side. And then you want to peel off the backing and you're going to attach this so it goes at an angle over the top covering that edge. And then you want to put a stamping dimensional piece onto the old olive leaf. And then you're going to attach this going the opposite way. So you're going to have to turn it so it goes from this to that. And then you're going to attach that going at an angle towards the right. So then, now you've just covered the top of that cherry cobbler cardstock and turned it into looking like an apple. Then you want to take one of the Bright's designer buttons in the small pumpkin pie one, place a glue dot onto the back, and attach that to your apple piece. Create a bow out of the thick baked brown sugar baker's twine. Attach that to the center of your designer button, the Bright's pumpkin pie one. Place a glue dot there and just attach that right on to that glue dot. And then to finish off the page, I took a Neutrals designer candy dot and I took the early espresso and placed it over here on the left side of my very vanilla cardstock balancing out my page. And then that completes the tutorial for the Hello Fall 6x6 scrapbook page. Visit my blog, rubberredneck.typepad.com, for the free project sheet and how to purchase 
the supplies to recreate this page or if you'd like to purchase the completed project as well. I, I have that for sale too. Thank you for watching.